now it's time for um, the Phantom Toll Booth. So we're not going to be reading together today. Um, it's a review and reflect. So that means you need to get out your packet. Um, make sure you have your packet for today your fan and your Phantom Toll Booth book and your vocabulary notebook because you'll need all of those to help you out with this. Then go ahead and open up your packet to the chapter summary, um, chapters 10 through 12. This is just like the ones we've done for all of the others. Uh, first, you have to give a title to this part of the book. Like if you were to just title this, remember how we write the titles of minor works. Don't forget those capital letters and the correct punctuation around. Is it quotation marks or do you underline? Is this a major work or a minor work? Number two, you're going to summarize what happens in these chapters. Make sure that you include what happens in all three chapters. Don't forget a chapter. You need to say um, a sentence or two about what happens in chapter 10, a sentence or two about what happens in chapter 11, and a sentence or two about what happens in chapter 12. Make sure, watch your grammar. Make sure you've got commas in the right place, capital letters, um, all of those things. Make sure you're using the correct verbs and the correct forms of the verbs. Now that we've learned that, I'm going to be looking at that as well. Um, number three, what is your favorite part of this section of the book? So make sure you have that, but also make sure you tell me why. And remember, because it's funny or because it's interesting is not a good answer. You need to have a clear answer. Why do you think it's funny? Why do you think it's interesting? Number four. What new words did you learn in these chapters? This is where your vocabulary notebooks, notebook comes in because you need to list all the words that you've learned, that we've done in this, these chapters. And then number five, you need to draw a picture of something you think represents these chapters. So make sure you can have a bunch of little pictures. You can have one big picture. Maybe you're drawing a picture of your favorite part, whatever, just make sure that you have a picture here. Once you're done with that, you're gonna turn to the back and it's called sound off. What you're going to do is you are going to come up with horrible noises and beautiful noises. Dr. Discord, does he like horrible noises or, or beautiful noises? And then the sound keeper, does she like horrible uh, noises or does she like beautiful noises? So you need to figure out where do the horrible no noises go and where do the beautiful noises go? You need to come up with at least five for each one, okay? So five horrible, five beautiful. Make sure you put them in the right column with the person who would appreciate them most. Um, and try to be descriptive. Like remember Dr. Discord talked about um, an octopus unwrapping a bubble wrapped bathtub or something like that. Try to be detailed and specific and try to think of funny things that you would have never thought of before that would make a weird noise. Okay, and then once you're done with that, you're done with today's lesson. Um, if you need to look back in the book, that's fine. Make sure you're using your vocabulary notebook. Make sure you're putting the noises in the correct places, the beautiful noises where they need to go and the not so nice noises in the places where they need to go.